Will Beta Squad surpass the Sidemen? In recent years, Beta Squad have become one of the biggest YouTube groups in the UK, and same as the Sidemen are running the UK scene. But do they have what it takes to become number one? But before we cover all that, let's establish, let's dive into who are Beta Squad. Beta Squad is a group with five members, first being Nico and Milana, one of the biggest YouTubers in the UK, known for public pranks and just doing things that is absolutely crazy. One of his biggest ideas in the recent year has been I pranked America's most racist man, which was a hilarious video and just proves the stunts he goes to for videos is next level. Next we have Chunks, was a YouTuber, also a musician and just very known within the public eye. As Chunks isn't in one thing in particular, he's in a bit of everything and also has a successful YouTube channel with 3 million subscribers. Next we have King Kenny, another big YouTuber again, also now in the boxing scene in all the Misfits fights. Then we have Sharky and AJ, two other very successful YouTubers, one nearly hitting a million subscribers and AJ having just over a million subscribers. And all of them together form Beta Squad. And they have some of the most successful ideas, recreating some of the iconic series from Jubilee, also having their own series that broke the internet and a lot of people do, the fake employee. They've done McDonald's, they've done Asda, they've done it in America. They've done that and they are the creators of that series and I think that's probably the most successful one. But with these videos absolutely blowing up and doing very well, has caused them to become one of the most successful groups in the UK, competing with probably the number one we've known for the last 10 years, Sidemen. But talking about Beta Squad for a minute, they've got 5 million subscribers currently and they get great views per upload, averaging millions of views per video, attracts eyes of mainstream celebrities. In their videos, they have featured many mainstream celebrities, Stormzy, Trent Alexander-Arnold, H, and also regularly feature Young Philly, Darkest Man, and Harry Panero. All very big faces in the video, some being friends of Beta Squad and some being mainstream celebrities. And with those features, they have made some really funny videos. And within the last year especially, Sidemen are talked about on their Sidecast podcast. A lot of people from the UK especially are kind of realising now, will Beta Squad become the next Sidemen? Will they take over? Sidemen have always been number one and dominated the UK YouTube scene. But the Sidemen are catching them up and literally giving them great competition now. Even the Sidemen have said their self that having Beta Squad doing really well has made them work even harder and it's sort of like friendly competition. Having someone competing with you makes you work even harder as they stated on their podcast. And if we compare the two groups right now, they're very similar in a lot of ways. The content both does really well. Beta Squad has 5 million subscribers, whereas the Sidemen has 18 million. They both upload very long form content once a week. The videos being probably 30 minutes plus each upload. Sidemen upload Sunday, Beta Squad on Saturday. It's a very similar schedule, very similar content. And they've also collabed in the past, and one being very recently with all the Sidemen and Beta Squad members doing a massive Real Life Among Us video, already getting past 10 million views. But in recent years, some of the Sidemen members were featuring Beta Squad videos videos and vice versa. But even though both groups are very similar, they're also very different. In terms of the message they give off and the impact they have on people, the Sidemen are iconic and people have grew up with the Sidemen. Pretty much all the Beta Squad members were inspired by the Sidemen at some point and have stated that the Sidemen were their inspiration for starting. So just having that impact, they will always have a special spot in number one. But Beta Squad have only been on the scene properly for about three, four years. So, so far, people are kind of taking them for granted. It's when they start getting to seven, eight years old and people start realizing they've watched them through their whole childhood, that's when they'll start having an impact. I think the way they're going, they're growing very rapidly, they're getting very successful videos, and you know they're really succeeding in what they're trying, making every other person work twice as hard because they're, they're exceeding expectation. And I think especially the younger demographic are grabbing on the beta squad, it's so much easier to grab onto beta squad content because it appeals to them at the minute, so it's going to grab in a whole new audience really quickly. Whereas the Sidemen now, they're going to continue growing, don't get me wrong, but the Sidemen, there's a lot of like inside banter, there's a lot of inside knowledge. If you've been watching them for years, you would love the Sidemen videos. I think the difference between two of them, the main thing is, Beta Squad is making content right now to appeal for all audiences, where the Sidemen kind of focus on their fans, which is great, but it makes it more difficult to just grow and get more eyeballs to watch your videos. So I think for that reason, if it carries on the way it is, Beta Squad may surpass them in views and subscribers over the years, but I think the Sidemen will always be number one just because they are now iconic, and mainly because of the impact they've had on YouTube. At the end of the day, these two groups, so they still help each other out. They're still very good sports to each other. We've seen with a lot of American groups over the years, when there's two very successful groups, they end up being rivals. They end up hating each other. Even though it makes for some great drama at the time, once that drama's died off, it's just annoying to see that two successful groups can't get on. So to see this in the UK, both of the groups that are running the UK right now actually get on, actually help each other out. It just shows a good sport for YouTube. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll.